Well, here it is. Here's the wire going right in here. It's fine. Just as I thought. Here's the wire. Now, by tracing this, I think we may find the answer to this entire riddle. The wire goes in here. Back of this wall is the man we want. Yeah, we'll make a note of that, Garrett. Are you all armed? Yes, I'm armed. Shh, quiet, you. Here it is. There is your microphone, and as I expected, there is your gorilla. Mr. Stevens, the gorilla? Well, sure, I could have told you that all the time. I guess the party is over, my gorilla friend. Yeah, but who tied him up like that? I don't know. He figured the game was up and that this would throw off suspicion. This is a homemade job. A child could have done it. Ah, it's preposterous. Don't believe him. I never saw this man before in my life. It's insane. Oh, now what's that? Oh, why is it with all the men in the house they have to leave us here with you? Quiet. Oh. What? Why, it's Mr. Stephen. Alias the gorilla. The gorilla? Him? Oh, I'll never trust another man if I live to be a thousand. You can make that two thousand. Uncle Walter the gorilla. I don't believe it. I think I can make it very clear. Oh, uh, sure we can. Now, first of all, what's that? Oh, I didn't hear a thing. Neither did I, but what was it? We'll soon find out. Hey, what is this? Who hit me? What's going on around here? It's that man again. Oh, there you are. Kidnapped. Kidnapped by the gorilla. Not kidnapped by the gorilla, Mr. Conway. A.P. Conway. Uh, the A.P. stands for ape. Mr. Conway, this gentleman is the gorilla. The gorilla? But if Uncle Walt is the gorilla, I don't understand why he should send himself those notes of warning. For two reasons. To keep you here and to throw off suspicion from himself. Miss Denby, under the terms of your father's will, if anything were to happen to you, who would inherit your estate? Uncle Walter. My hunch was right. Your uncle brought you here tonight to kill you for your money. Well, at least he had a reason. So that's why he wouldn't let us call the police. That's exactly why. But what about these men, these private detectives? <laughs> they almost speak for themselves. Do you think if Stephen's life had actually been threatened, he would have called in Three morons such as these for protection. <laughs> morons? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I resent that. But I tell you, I saw the gorilla right there in that closet. I saw his hand and his arm, and it was no optical confusion. What you saw was this sleeve. Another ingenious little invention of Mr. Stevens. Mm, very cute little idea. <laughs> well, that about clears the whole matter up. And since it stopped raining, I think I'd better go. <laughs> You're okay, oh, buddy. Okay. He's all right. Congratulations. Yeah. Let me congratulate you. You were wonderful. You <laughs> piss. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, buddy. Okay, folks. Say howdy to the gorilla. Howdy. All right, give out. Or this moron is going to blow your brains out. Well, you see, it was only that. Oh, now, all of you stick your hands up. I'm the gorilla, all right. But the cops haven't been able to get me, so don't you halfwits get any crazy notions. And as for Mr. Stevens, he's just as crooked as I told you he was. The trouble with him is he talks too much and too loud. I got tipped off on what was going to happen here tonight. How he was going to pretend to be me. I was going to get the $250,000 and at the same time let him get the blame for all the girl of murders. Well, you better be careful. I'm a little nervous tonight. Drop that gun. And I advise you not to move. Police station, quickly. What is this? I thought the phone was out of order. Maybe he paid his bill. Hello? This is Walter Stevens speaking. Send a squad car to my house. We've got the gorilla. Things are so mixed up around here that even the gorilla doesn't know who the gorilla is. He's the gorilla, he's the gorilla. Do I know what I'm doing? Look, what's going on here? <laughs> Don't look so sad, darling. Your uncle isn't a crook, and our estate's all safe and sound now. <laughs> you know, you never can tell. This is liable to wind up to be a mystery. You see, the gorilla murders were threatening to bankrupt our insurance company. Most of the victims were clients of ours. So Conway, our special investigator, cooked up his little scheme to trap the killer. I'm sorry I had to frighten you, dear. And you too, Kitty. Oh, I wasn't frightened. I was numb. You fellas are certainly great detectives. Oh, oh yeah, so yeah. We could have told you that. Did you know that Cluddy was the gorilla all along? Oh, sure, sure we, we did. did. No, we didn't. Huh? When did you find out he was the gorilla? When I shook hands with him. I don't get you. Well, you see, I was a window trimmer in a department store. And 
I ought to know a phony feel when I feel one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never be able to thank you, Mr. Harrigan. Oh, well, that's all right. I understand you two are getting married soon. Well, if you call tomorrow soon. Well, remember, if you have any trouble with her, <laughs> our specialty is following wives. <laughs> You know where to send the check, and uh, be sure it's certified <laughs> from a contented bank. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> 